So, it's been a month since iOS 14 was released, and when it was first released, I'm gonna be honest, the widgets were pretty darn epic, but the lack of availability of third-party widgets was quite frustrating. Now, Apple didn't give the third parties enough time to get their widgets ready, but it's been a month since release, and since then, these widget developers have gone crazy. So, today we're gonna be taking a look at four awesome widgets for iOS 14 and one theme engine. So, let's get into it. What's up you guys, it's Thomas here, and before I start this video, if you're new to my channel, here I cover everything Apple. So if you're into that kind of stuff, then definitely smash that subscribe button, and hit the bell notification to be notified whenever I upload awesome new tech content. Anyways, today we're going to be talking about four awesome iOS 14 widgets that are brand new, and also one theme engine. So let's start with the best, which is, in my opinion, the theme engine. So what is a theme engine, you may ask? Well, with iOS 14, you did gain the ability to customize your home screen icons with shortcuts, but that was kind of a long and tedious process. And so a theme engine essentially automates all of that so you can get awesome themed home screen icons with just the press of a button. So to do that, what you're gonna wanna do is open up Safari and you're gonna open up this link that I have right down below in the description. You're gonna tap on classic design and it's gonna take a little bit to load and you're gonna get a pop-up. Here you're gonna click allow, and you're gonna click close, and now you're gonna open up your settings app. You should see profile downloaded. Tap that, and tap the blue install button. Now you're gonna type in your cell phone passcode, and you're going to hit install, and install one more time. Now head over to your desktop, and select Aesthetica. This is the home screen theme engine. It should just open right up. You're gonna get a little pop-up, close it out. So just tap above it. And here we have our top themes and you can select to browse all themes to select any of these themes that are right here. So I'm gonna select clean white for this video purposes and I'm gonna tap get and I'm gonna tap download and install. It's gonna download the theme. Then it's gonna load up a profile and I have to allow it to install. So I'm gonna tap allow, tap close then you're gonna head back over in settings and you should be on the profile screen. If you're not there, it's in general profile and device management. And you're gonna see download a profile and that's the profile you just downloaded. Just tap on it, tap install, type in your passcode, tap next, tap install. And now as you can see, we have all of these home screen app icons customized right on our home screen. So essentially, you're just gonna wanna rearrange them however you want them. Anyways, so once you have your app icons all rearranged however you like them, you just tap on them and they open right up and it works. So in all honesty, this whole process took me about five minutes, whereas with the traditional shortcuts app, it would take me like 20. So this is definitely gonna save you a lot of time and I highly recommend checking it out. So now let's take a look at some awesome new widgets for our home screen. The first one is Spotify. Now, we all know and love Spotify, you know, it's a great music player, it's completely free, and Spotify has finally added a widget. So using this widget is pretty darn easy, and to use it, you just need to have Spotify downloaded and set up on your phone. So to add this to your home screen, you're just gonna go into jiggle mode, and tap the plus button at the top of your screen, scroll down and find Spotify, tap on it, and you're gonna have either the single album or the multi-album version. You're gonna try the single al album version, and you can just tap add widget, and here we have it. So as you can see, I have the Spotify widget on my home screen. And when I tap on it, it opens up a recommended song. Really useful and overall just a good widget. I recommend this one if you use Spotify a lot. All right, next widget. Now, guys, listen to me. I know iOS already has a stock weather widget, but this widget is a lot better, trust me. So this widget is called Weatherline and it's completely free. And essentially what it does is it gives you a lot more options for a weather widget on your home screen. So let's just add it. And as you can see, when I tap on it, I have a lot of options. I have an hourly forecast and a daily forecast. Personally though, I like the hourly forecast and I have all kinds of different sizes. So I'm just gonna add this size right here and I'm gonna add the widget to my home screen. And 
And I honestly really like this widget because it looks really clean and it shows you which parts of the day are gonna be in the daytime, which parts of the day are gonna be in the nighttime, different temperatures throughout the day. And overall, it's just a really nice widget. All right, the next widget we're gonna be taking a look at is a pretty darn simple widget called Widgets Go, which is essentially a customizable modern style clock widget. Now, sure you already have your system's clock widget, but trust me, this widget looks a lot better and you have a lot more options for customizing it. So when we add it to our home screen, we have several options based on which size we want. I'm gonna select the small size and I'm just gonna move it right down into this bottom right corner of my home screen. And as you can see, I have a nice little background right here, but if I wanna change that, I can go into the Widgets Go app and I can select from any of these different colors or I can select images and select a new image background. So I'm just gonna try out this image background right here. And as soon as I select it, it updates on my home screen. And yeah, that just looks, you know, really nice. All right, now let's look at the best widget that we have on our phone, which is the home screen layout customizer widget. Now this widget is really awesome and it allows you to customize your home screen layout, which is something that in the past you had to jailbreak to do and it's completely free, so let's take a look. Okay, so to get a customized home screen layout, you're gonna need to download the transparent widget app. And to use it, essentially, you need to go into edit home screen mode on your home screen. And you're going to need to scroll to a blank page and take a screenshot. Then open up the Twid app, which you just downloaded. It's a transparent widget app. Tap select screenshot. And you're going to select the screenshot you just took. Now you're going to close out of the ad and click home. And go to the page you want to customize. Tap edit home screen. Tap this plus button and add a Twid widget. Now you have multiple sizes for this and they should all work on your home screen and you just add the widget and it will rearrange your app icons. Now why is this so cool? It looks just pretty simple. Well, yeah, it's simple, but in reality what it does is it allows you to customize your home screen layout, which is something that you couldn't do at all before. And so I'm just gonna show you an example of what you can do with this app. All right, so I'm gonna add a two by two widget and I'm gonna move it to the top right of my screen. Then I'm gonna add another two by two widget and arrange my widgets just like this. And boom, I have a customized home screen. Now this looks kind of lame, but let's swap the wallpaper and boom. I'm gonna be honest, this looks really good. So this is a pretty cool customized home screen layout, but that's not all you can do with Twid. So let's just open it up, select theme, and you can select a position on your screen. And you can actually theme these transparent spaces. So if I wanna add, for example, the date to my widget, I'll select the date, save it, open up settings and tap refresh widgets. Then we can tap okay and go to our widgets and boom, I have the date right there. All right guys, so that's pretty much all I have for you for today. I really do hope you enjoyed this video. All the links for everything necessary for this video is down below. And if you did get this far, then do me a favor and hit that like button. Hope you enjoyed this video and I hope to see you in some of my next videos. Have a great day, bye.